my dating life is very like fun um but imagining so like, the good is that it's fun yeah but we're talking okay. about like being a stripper i'm assuming right so yeah, well you i was gonna yeah any of the professions you want to i'm i mean they're all kind of tandem they work in tandem yeah what but, i'm doing right now i'm very happy with my like dating life but okay. like as a stripper so the good that came mm, let's talk about the bad <laughs> okay the bad that came from it, I feel like when you're in the club and then you see how men act when they don't have respect for you. Okay. <laughs> so you see the dark side of male nature. Yeah. Okay. So it gets you kind of There's something towards that you men. can't like really come back from. You can like Agreed. try to heal from that. But like in the normal dating life, everything you feel like a man's going to talk to you about, you feel like that's going to be a lie. There's extreme trust issues. Okay. Uh, after that. I think you perfectly nailed why men have a hard time dating strippers because you get so jaded with men. So it's kind of like, mm. you know, these girls have seen the worst. So it's like kind of hard. Real to quick. It's hard back. for the men to trust the strippers too. So there's that balance. Yeah. Real quick. Where, like, you mentioned trust. Clubs. It's very hard to find, right? Uh, like while being a stripper, or do you, you mean know, just, in general? just in general, right? Uh, you mentioned your age is twenty six. Yeah. Is that trustworthy? <laughs> I mean, I start off saying that I don't like discuss my age. You're thirty. More like thirty six. Thirty one. Is not that thirty one? Whoever thir said that. No, no, no. no. Thirty six, right? No. No, she's not. Yeah. Most of I'm not. I mean, I, again, I don't. Really... Did you already found it? Yeah. Th thirty six. They're saying she's thirty six. I told you they put records. Wrong. They're good, right? The yeah. They're good. So then, what, what is it then, bro? It's twenty six. But I would love if you think that I'm thirty six. Please tell me how you got to that. I mean, it's just an ID. Like, yeah. <laughs> you want to know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just your personal identification, which people identify you by. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not 36. Yeah, so, I guess so we can go by like, trial and error. You know what's a funny thing, though? She's it's ironic that you say guys meet you and they have trust issues. And our number one issue with you in the podcast is you telling the truth. Do you think that perhaps they look at you and they rightly assess that you're a, not a straightforward person? I am straightforward, though. Because <laughs> I tell them I So don't. you're a real estate agent, Ariel, huh? I used to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I fucking warned you. I told you. They're going to find out you who you me, are. But I'm not 36, so it's yes. weird. No, no. I know, but I, do you know why I said that, though? Why? So you can tell me the real age. Oh, okay. It's, it's 30. It's not. I just turned 46 this month. Bruh. Yo, they know you're a real estate agent. You're a real estate agent. We, we have from it right like, here. Yeah, from LinkedIn, but like that was something I like signed up for in South Carolina. Not the LinkedIn. Not the LinkedIn. Not the LinkedIn. Not the LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> but also, you we don't have, a, have We have to a disclose. liar who wants to be trusted. Yeah, W Mugs. The we have a liar like, who wants to be And I warned you, too. I told you That's there's going to be 20, 30,000 people watching. Someone is going to find out your name, what you do, and how old you are, and you still proceeded to lie. Do you not think that you can lie on your LinkedIn profile? Oh, so you lied there, but you're telling the truth here. <laughs> that's amazing. Dude. That's really scummy. Like, that's what kills me is that. Is Yo, Mark, scummy? Like, I'm so scummy. I need healing, Girl, I need at this point, can just we, show you. Can, can we talk about it? Like, yeah. why? This is craziness. Like, can we? So I really want to know. Like, if you guys are going to kick me off the podcast, I would like to talk about it. Like, Did why? they kick you off or are you kicking they, yourself? No, nice I'm just trying to ask a question. Like, why is it such a big deal to you guys? Why is it a big deal to you but to no one else around the table? But I explained that. Like, literally, no one else. That at the, the beginning, so, so I'm special? asking you, Maria. So they do demographics. It's actually really helpful stuff. They do a demographics. They have two, over 2,000 women they've had on the show, and so in order for the demographics to work, they have to ask your demographics. This man is literally it's not writing a, it's down not a notes. Personal, I mean, it's not a personal thing. It's completely fair, no, no, no. but I'm saying She's here's special. what I'm trying to say. Okay, dude. <laughs> anyway, so I go out on dates with people, and they will ask me, and I will tell them that I don't disclose my age. Sure. What's I happening? I thought you said this is not a date. What's yeah. happening right is now is that we are on a live podcast where a lot of people are watching and if I'm going on dates with men and I'm telling them that I don't disclose my age and you guys are like what's your age and I'm telling them they're gonna sure, know sure but you, so, you were asking why it was important to them that's why it's like they're not they're not trying to like score on you it's just one no, of the things what it's I'm, a demographic thing what I'm yeah. trying to ask okay is like, I don't give a fuck what you got to say at this point it's our podcast it's our platform it's one of the prerequisite rules you come on someone's platform you got to understand you abide by their rules and terms this is an opportunity for you not the other way around. So if you want to come on the platform, no, she's making two thousand dollars right now. Yeah, like she's if you want to, like, this isn't like some situation where it's like, oh, yo, this is negotiable. No, it's our shit. So this is what we do. We ask girls this. We keep data, and we do it for a reason because this there's a body of data that we keep to help guys as far as like understanding how women move in the West. Now this is what I'm gonna say. I'll let the chat choose. Chat, 
But one's in the chat if y'all wanted to kick her off, because she obviously fucking lied, and I knew she was going to lie. Yeah. Or two of y'all wanted to stay. It's, I'll, leave, I'll let the chat go ahead and see what they want to do. Yeah, if we get more nice, twos, honesty, we'll let you stay, but we obviously figured out who you are. I knew the chat was going to find out who you were, and you're well into your 30s. They're good. So I'm well into And they found out your real name, <laughs> yeah. your real estate agent, etc. So it's like, bro, it's so like, how, how old are you? Are you, you say the truth how old are you? We just don't worry about the it ain't that serious, honestly. How old are you? Yo, what if she's a witness like, protection? Calm down. She wouldn't fucking be here. <laughs> on the podcast. She wouldn't be here. She's yeah. witness protection. This is like, why we should not believe in equality between the male and the female. Crazy. Because clearly, You already don't believe in equality. I, clearly I don't. Clearly. Yeah, you clearly but don't. But let me explain like, why. Hold on. Why do you wait till I start talking to start talking, love? Because you're always talking. Okay, well, go ahead and stop. Them and you can listen more because you might learn something. It's hard you see, when you're you never, always being No, don't rude. interrupt me when you're always lying. You see, if you weren't lying, maybe we'd be polite maybe here. Maybe if you would That's have like, started talking to me Maybe if you would tell the truth, you wouldn't have to protect your lies. Rude. You're trying to protect your lies and it's a sad thing. You are a you person who has no respect so for others. You're, you're a narcissist. A man could never I'm grow up and think that they're special when they're not special. Right you're a very you're average projecting. person. You didn't even get veneers before you went into the sex and Industry. That's what messes me no, up. But you're probably, no, you're really. probably it's the same basic. type it's a basic. of man. No, it's a basic. This is the same no. type of man that's no. like, you don't need <laughs> plastic <laughs> surgery. You don't need to do anything to yourself. Why are you doing this? No. But Not you're going to attack a woman anyway. on the way that she looks. Yeah. You're a fucking narcissist. We're going to do it. Okay, so it's kind of split. So I'm going to do a poll on the chat and we'll see what they split. say. Let's split them it, it, it's, it's, yeah. go back later. So we'll do a poll. They we'll are. Do a poll. I just don't they're understand you. how you're no, always terrible. coming at they're women terrible. being rude. Stop like, talking about women. It's can... about you. Don't... Okay, well, That's then why problem. are you being you rude to me? You try to extract me? it. Why are you When did we have an issue? When I was talking, you started talking. You started off with rudeness. Like, if you don't have respect for me, then don't talk to me. It's because of who you are. Don't say it's women. It's because of who you are as an individual. Based off because I didn't want to state my. Saying age? you have a problem with me because I'm black. No, it could be no, because I'm a I jerk. Have a problem it with could you be because, because I'm a you're jerk. Rude. So you yes, are a liar, and I do why. have a problem with you. And most people don't address you. That's why you've been sticking with the lie for years on end, lying to guy no. after guy after if guy. I stayed and at I'm the telling beginning you it's unacceptable. That I don't disclose my age, and you guys force me to tell my no age one can when force I told you. you. Yes, that's exactly what no happened. So if I start at the beginning and I say I don't disclose. Oh, yeah, it's it's wrong when I yell, but it's okay for you. Yeah, to do it. Fair enough. Yeah, I think yeah. this one's uh, played out. Yeah, you're good. Let's move on. Yeah, you're good. Carrying oh, okay. Hey, Thank you. Yeah. 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 We gave you a chance, man. All right, yeah. so I started the poll. We'll see what they say in the chat. Uh, we'll move on to the next girl. In the, in the I got a question time. for the guys around the table. Have you ever dated a woman who wouldn't tell you her age? No, <laughs> never. Better know her age. Have you ever been on a date where it's like, no, I don't, I don't so disclose weird. my yeah. age. It's like nah, a I would like to tell me. Mm. Well, the, the, the reason I'm asking yeah. is because it's like, to, like after a while, there are there's going to be telltale signs. You're yeah. going to figure it out on your yeah. own sooner or later. Right. Wait, yeah, my favorite, my favorite my favorite band in high school was Nirvana. Okay, yeah, you're not 20. Yeah, you're not <laughs> you're 20. Yeah, yeah I mean, there, there's, uh, there's. I think all of us are intelligent guys. We don't just trust what girls say. We watch the little behaviors you do. I'm assuming all you guys do the same thing. Well, when if you're, you're that if you're that invested in the date with exactly. the, with a woman who's not going to tell you her age, it's almost mm -hmm. like it's like it's like a puzzle. You know, it's like you could just pick up like yeah, Nirvana or something. Rolo, like, you remember when we pulled out of Saigon? You remember that? Yeah, I do, actually. I <laughs> you were six that. years yeah. old. <laughs> exactly. So I feel like when you're dating someone, like progressively, Bruh. it's okay for me to tell you the age. But when you first start off, it's like you're trying to figure out my age so you can like perceive have what you, I've me, like, I, 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 got an, I got another question. I got one, 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 just one last follow up here. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you been on a date where you would not tell the guy your age, but like later on you dated him some more and then you did tell him your age? Yes. Often when we travel and they book flights, I have to give them my information. <laughs> That's when you do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 You want to yeah. say something? Go ahead. You so, 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 so when you're getting, <laughs> when you're getting flued out, out then uh, that's when you got to be you. Out or okay. We're starting to talk enough. about children. I know hold enough. on, hold on, hold on. What? Go ahead. You want to say something? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know that you got it, It's because we're on the podcast. You have your rules, right? Cool. Respectable. Um, but I'm from the South, and I'm not, not that I agree with it, but I've heard that. A lot. It's a manners women. thing it's in a, the South. Yeah, like my. It like, is true. It, it, I, got, I don't really understand. I don't know why. Like my mother did it. Like my grandmother. Everyone. I'm not that way. I don't care. Um, it's the only way I would. She's not talking about tell someone, someone in the South not asking yeah. a woman her age. Oh yeah, it's considered. You're from Louisiana. It's bad I'm from form. Louisiana. Yeah, it's bad yeah. Some that. of my family yeah. lives in Mississippi, mm -hmm. in like the Mississippi Delta, which is like. Pretty much is <laughs> the very, deep South. Very like <laughs> Bible I mean, Belt Southern. That's how it is. 
Um, I don't know, but I just know that that's a very common thing that I've heard. Like, yeah, I understand I, being truthful. I understand your rules. I was just saying, can I've I, heard can it I, a lot. Can I ask you ladies a question? So, so you do understand that biology is somewhat misogynistic, and women uh, uh, past the age of 40, they have a less than 5% c- chance of carrying a child to term. Right. If a man wanted mm-hmm. to know how much longer, I hate to be so clinical here, but if mm-hmm. a man wanted to know how much longer your reproductive career was, Yeesh. realistically, wouldn't that be a reason if he d- d- deliberately wanted to start a family for him to know how old you are? What if you I mean, I don't care. Go ahead. I'll tell them. Go ahead, Lucy. Go what you, you saying, said, Natalie? Said, what if you don't want kids? Right, but what if he does want kids and right. he's being he's being forward with you and saying he wants kids? Isn't it fair to him to know, hey, you, we have this much time left? You I totally. Say? Yeah. I said that, though. Yeah, I know. When okay. it comes to, like, childbearing, you want to know how long we have. Or if you're trying to figure out if a girl's over 21. Are you in menopause and how many years before you are? Can I address I I what she said? Because there was really two things that I think all of us need to think about. We're in the age of cultural reconstruction. Mm-hmm. And we need awesome. to be very thoughtful and deliberate about the new culture that's emerging. Now, two notes about where you're from. So you said Mississippi and Louisiana. Mississippi has consistently been the poorest state in the union. If Puerto Rico was a state, it would be poorer than Mississippi. Louisiana has also had some of the lowest rates of literacy and education. Huey P. Long in your state was the one who really mm-hmm. brought education to the masses, a great man, a populist. But before that, you guys were like very provincial, separated, you know, myth- missing teeth, uneducated. And this is white males were uneducated in Mississippi. So what we're talking about is a culture that's coming from a lower class place. Now, at what point in human history do the lower classes produce things that are admirable? (laughs) Oh, shit. At what point? It's a loaded question. I mean, it's it's an interesting way to ask it. It's a rhetorical question, which is to say that um, in America, and Louisiana's lovely. I make it down to the NO all the time. Um, And I love the accents. The people are great, have a beignet and all that good stuff. But And and the women are are fantastic. But in the United States of America, Mississippi and um, Louisiana are about as important as North and South Dakota. And they're not what (laughs) defines American culture, Mm -hmm. Western culture. They've never been at the helm of any thing that we viewed as good. So what I'm saying is, yes, that's your culture, but that do, that doesn't mean that it's a good thing or it's something that should be kept alive. I agree with that. Okay, fair enough. Yo, this is simple. Well, if you have a host, right, and <laughs> I'm a guest at your house, you have a rule set that says, mm. take your shoes off in my house. Mm-hmm. There. I'm breaking your rules. Yeah, you, you just broke the rules. That's, that's what it is. It's and simple. I warned you too. And by the way, 81 percent of the chat wants you gone, so just give up and leave. Deuces. All right. Well, I'm Ari O'Reilly. No, 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 no. Just go. Just go. We're ten more seconds. Leave it out. We don't care. Go on. No, no, no. Don't follow me. Get out the house. Get out the house. Go, go. Just leave. Now you want to? Now you want to go ahead and go ahead? When I warned you, I told you. Dude, nobody fucking cares. You guys claim to hate hoes and like you just got one pregnant. Bye. Whoa. Okay, okay. You didn't even have anything to do with that. It's just yeah. the anger, right. viciousness. We're not being rude. You didn't follow the rules. Very vicious like and mean. And, and by the way, by the way, I love holes, by the way. Yeah. I love holes. You're, you're a cloud chaser. <laughs> you're a cloud chaser. I'm not an anti-ho thing. Guys. I know the podcast <laughs> is like, 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 Your podcast just it. got demonetized. Is that why you're here? Go ahead. Carry on. It's been for a year. Carry on. We've been demonetizing it. I love hoes. And you're old. I'm pretty sure he still has more money than you, though. Oh, my God. I'm so I'm of aging. pretty I'm sure. Aging. Bro, you look like a Why don't we clown. all just stop taking <laughs> the like bait? How about clown. that? All right, let's is, nice. is there, How about that? Is there any bait, though? I mean, I feel like we spent a little bit more time. Can I, can I like, drop something? Like, I mean, I we could have just let her go. Nice, I agree with totally stupid. I want to totally totally drop something on. I want to drop something on Mark Quint real quick. How old are the boys? How old are you? I'm going to drop something on Mark Quint real quick. Let's go with that. Drop something on I'll tell you exactly how old I am. Are you You're just old as fuck. Who cares about you? Get the fuck out you already said uh, it. Uh, yeah, no, I Mark, mean, no more quit. That's when she was talking about like it's like bad form or it's not it's improper impolite, impolite, sure. impolite, taste, as it, it, some improper say. etiquette yes. to ask a woman what, what her age is or what her weight is for that matter as well. <laughs> those, sure. I mean, those are there's sure. certain to things that's yeah. like it's it's like impolite to say those Correct, things. Right yeah. now, that's old school. That's old like way. You want to talk about chivalry? That's part of chivalry. Actually, you don't ask a woman's age or her weight, mm-hmm. but you also don't ask a man how much he makes, mm-hmm. and you also don't ask. There's some <laughs> right. questions that's you're not supp- that women Very are not true. supposed to ask. And there's a reason for that is because women need to. Have some sort of uh, some sort of mystery, some sort of obscurity as to whether or not they're somebody that's worth like sticking around for and like reproducing with, right? Because if she's if she is older, so excuse, come back. anything that makes her older makes her less fertile, right? right. If they they we uh, men tend to select for 
fertility and youth and beauty. We talk about this all the time on here, mm -hmm. right? So why wouldn't it be poor form to ask a, like a woman who is like say 36 years old and say, I mean, she's, you know, how old are you? Well, you, you, the thing is most men don't need to ask that. They can figure that out. Oh, on totally. Absolutely. And if yeah. you can't figure mm -hmm. it out on your own, you're not the kind of guy that ought to be fucking around with this chick in the first place. Cause True. you should be worldly it's enough sharp, yeah. to understand this shit. Likewise, women should not be like, well, how much does he make? How much does he make? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, <laughs> the, the Lamborghini that I just pulled up in should like invalidate that. Quote. You should fucking know Rental. too. And so, therefore, Possible. maybe you're not somebody that I ought to be with in the first place because you, you can't you figure out. You just reminded me. I'm hoping they're not keying yeah. my car on the way yeah. out. Like, <laughs> God damn. Oh, my, yeah. Leave Jesus it alone. Jesus Christ. I just got to pop. Should have parked in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but, but we're going to cut the rumble in a little bit, under, guys. So, rumble.com slash flash. We're going to cut in like the next minute or two, guys. You do just, understand you know. why there are social conventions like of that. Of course. And those are the things that, as I said, we need to be a conscious designer of culture moving forward because people talk about matriarchy, not realizing that we've already been under the matriarchy. And I also want to promote beating up simps. <laughs> Can I, they probably do a lot of that being I feel like you, be, I feel like you kick the, your husband's ass like all it? the time. No. Like, do you have that ball <laughs> tied up just whooping no, 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 my, my, my baby is the Because this leather the stuff man. over here, I'm like. Yeah, well, that's for the women. Usually. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> There's some traumatized women that need some sims. Yeah, Sometimes like, you need some healing. You need a little bit of soft <laughs> You need some sims. After you've been through a, like with some yeah. crazy psycho, like I mean, it might be nice well, to be with a little simps. nice guy. That, it's like a for a transitional They're period. Yeah. No, those like guys are simps. The guys who are crazy and abusive, those are actual simps. Oh, There's levels right. to I'm it. Right? I had an experience like that. It was you see, awful. The simps are the emotional males. Okay, that's They're not the rational male wordplay. And because they're so <laughs> well emotional, well thank you, sir. Bravo. Because they're so emotional, when you don't give them what they want or when they don't feel secure or when you don't make them feel like a man, see, that's a problem. They're, they're not a man. Mm -hmm. They need you. And when you're dealing with that parasitic relationship and they feel a lack, that's when they become emotional and violent. So those are not men at all. Those are the I can the see sims. your point. That's yeah. that's valid. I can see how a real man would be more protective and make you feel safe. Because when I said, like, what do you like, 5'2", five, 5'3"? Five, five, or 5'4". Five, sorry about that. I don't no, want to take no, two inches no. off you. No but, worries. like, if you get mad at me, I look at you and... It's kind of funny, you know. It's like kind of like like in sure. the, I'm trying not to laugh while you're mad, sure. but in the back of my head, and like if you ball up your fist, like it doesn't look threatening. It's cute, to me. and you're not trying to patronize me. Right, either. I understand. Right, and if you actually try to attack me, I probably just bear hug you. You know, yeah, that's and, no, and that's, that's, that's a real you. man. Hopefully, and tell you that I love you until you like relaxed and started crying and calm down. That's beautiful. Right? Now, like if this that. motherfucker right here bought up his fist, I'm pulling out the clapper. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's getting it. Everyone's going. Yeah. But you those are the sins. You get a sense. bear hug? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's not going to last very long. That's all I really wanted. I, I'm, I'm going to pray that the cameras are not live. <laughs> yes. he, he, I'm going to OJ. Let's just do oh, new OJ. Boy. New OJ. Uh, all right, so two down, it's seven to go. Fits. Oh, Can you some water, stop some water there real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, shout out, shout Okay, out. so... Thank you, brother. Yes, we indeed. were, we're, oh, okay, so we're